Merciful Minerva, Bronze Age believers. I'm in Maryville, Tennessee, getting set to lasso some long boxes inside the Golden Age comic shop. Now it's cold outside, so let's jet on in. Welcome back to the channel, Bronze Age Believers, and Happy New Year to you all. Why not start off 2022 by making a resolution to like and subscribe to the channel and check us out every Wednesday for new content from local comic shops and conventions. During my holiday break from weekly videos, I made a trip to Tennessee, and operating off of a recommendation from my super friend Magic Lasso, I visited the Golden Age Comic Shop. First off, the history behind this building is almost as famous as the characters whose books are sold inside. Built in 1942, this structure has been a quilt shop, a pizza shop, but more famously home to radio station WGAP Classic Country, where country music legend Dolly Parton and Porter Wagner were known to make appearances back in the day. In fact, Dolly still has a presence here thanks to a recent special edition comic release. Everything inside the shop caters to both classic and modern age fans. And as you might expect, you have your new comic wall, which is plastered with various publications from your favorite titles. Then of course you have the back issues, which are alphabetically organized amongst top and bottom tabletops. They also have plenty of graded books, both past and present, out in the shop, and also as part of a separate room referred to as the Vault. The Golden Age also offers gaming space and a slew of statues, including this George Perez-inspired Teen Titans multi-part statue, which is a callback to the first issue of that Bronze Age beauty. So right now, let's take a look around inside the shop before we head outside to a very impressive offering for the eyes. Enjoy! Now, believe it or not, the outside of the shop is just as impressive as the inside of the shop. There is a retaining wall outside the store that stretches for about half a city block. And much like our heroes inside, it went through a transformation in 2017. Upon approval from the city council, Florida artist Wesley Stout went about painting the iconic heroes all along the wall. It's an impressive sight to see and respects the rich history for many of the heroes from the golden age of comics. I also enjoyed talking with local artist Michael Alexi, who's responsible for the additional artwork and mural inside the shop. As for Bry's buys, I wrapped up one being the Modern Age Shazam series, my Bronze Age Conan collection as well, with an issue of Captain Carrot thrown into the mix for good measure. Next week, I have one more stop in Tennessee to share with you, which has its own little legacy story to tell as well. Until then, do all the good things. Like, subscribe, comment, and please be good to one another. Let's all do our part to make this new year one of hope and healing and try to get us back to center, rather than further apart as people. And a little Bronze Age believing never hurt anyone. Just saying.